Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of SPSS. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform Kendall's tau correlation coefficient using SPSS and its interpretation. Can you subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on SPSS, econometrics, R studio, and economics? Let's begin with the introduction. Kendall's tau correlation coefficient is non-parametric measure. So you can use Kendall's tau correlation coefficient when you have non-normal continuous data or ordinal data. Now, Kendall's tau correlation coefficient is an alternative to Spearman's rank correlation coefficient when you have small sample size with tied ranks. So if you know the procedure of rank correlation coefficient, we assign ranks. And if you have multiple tied ranks, then instead of using rank correlation coefficient, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, we can use Kendall's tau. Let's understand the data. So here I have the uh, data on ranks given by judge one and ranks given by judge two. So we have candidates and these candidates were assigned ranks by two judges. So our first variable is ranks given by judge one and ranks given by judge two. You can see both variables are ordinal. So therefore ordinal is selected in the major column. This is the data view. So we have 12 participants or you can say 12 candidates. And then we have ranks assigned to each candidate by two judges. So here we are interested to know the association between ranks given by these two judges. So what is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis says that there is no significant association between ranks given by two judges against the alternative hypothesis of a significant association between ranks given by two judges. Now let's understand the procedure to perform Kendall's tau correlation coefficient in SPSS. So go to analyze. In analyze, we have the option of correlate. And in correlate, we have the option of bivariate. Again, go to analyze. In analyze, go to correlate. And in correlate, select bivariate. You can see this dialog box on your screen. So we want to find the association between uh, ranks given by two judges. So select these two variables. Move them to variables box. Now here in correlation coefficients, Pearson is selected by default. So untick Pearson and select Kendall's town B. Click OK. You can see the result in the output window. So here we have the result. The Kendall's town correlation coefficient is 0.879. Now, before you interpret the correlation coefficient, you need to check the statistical significance. So the associated p-value is 0 0.000. Now, this p-value, this uh, p-value is less than 0 0.05, that is alpha. So we reject the null hypothesis. Again, the correlation coefficient is 0 0.879. Associated p-value is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 and therefore we reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that our correlation coefficient is statistically significant. Now, since this value is between 0 0.5 and 1, we can say that there is strong positive correlation or strong positive association between ranks given by two judges. That is the conclusion. So this is how we can perform Kendall's tau correlation coefficient in SPSS. It is also known as Kendall's tau rank correlation coefficient or Kendall's tau B. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.